the way vision works is you don't actually take in a complete picture of the entire area of your visual field. But your retina at the back of your eye is structured so that you see things differently in the centre to the way you see them in the periphery. So this is a crude representation of your visual field as it's created at the back of your eye on the retina. And in the centre of the visual field, you have a very tiny point, much smaller than I've drawn it there, where you get the sharpest vision. And coming out from this point, you get less sharp vision because you have a different kind of cell receptor here than you do here. You have cones in the centre, and as you move towards the edge, it's more rods. And the rods are very good at picking up movement, while the cones are very good at picking up sharp images. So the way your vision works is that when you look at something like this scene, your eye begins to scan like this. It scans all around so that this central point actually sequentially takes in all the detail in the view. This scanning faculty is quite important to get sharp images because even if you are getting an image that isn't completely in focus, your brain can actually make up a better focused image from using the detail from scanning. If you wear glasses a lot, the glasses focus for you. Your brain doesn't have to do this scanning because it's got the impression that everything's already in focus. So it gets lazy and the ability to scan and to distinguish between the centre and the periphery is dulled down. So what you have to do is practice becoming more aware of the difference between what you're looking at, what's in the centre, and what's in the periphery. And the periphery is where you notice movement. So you can waggle your fingers at the side of your head, you could move them forwards until they come into your line of sight, and backwards. And this will wake up your awareness of this part of your visual field. Here's a good way to improve your peripheral vision. Walk up and down a corridor, forwards and backwards. As you look down my corridor, you can see a picture on the right and some photos stuck on the wall on the left. And as I move forwards, these move away to my right and left and out of my field of vision. If I then walk backwards, I can look out for them beginning to reappear. There's the picture. Where's the first photo? There we are. And there's the dog. Hi, Peter!